Good morning. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the grading criteria in science. You will be given this sheet. This is a handout that explains our grading criteria. And there are a couple of important things that I want you to notice. First, in eighth grade science, we are going to be showing our proficiency in more than just the standards and skills. The standards and skills are the things that you've received scores for in Canvas. But we know that understanding science is more than just our standards and skills. In fact, there are four categories of science that are going to become a part of your ultimate overall grade. These include standards and skills, again, the traditional thing that would be in the Canvas gradebook, community, thinking as a scientist, and reflection. So for each category, there are four proficiency levels, and you are going to use the chart to understand what it means to be a four, three, two, and one for each of these different categories. So for example, to have a four in standards and skills, this would mean that you are consistently giving Y level explanations for most standards and skills. When you did your proficiency tracker, did you have mostly fours? If the answer is yes, then for standards and skills, you're at a level four. If for standards and skills, you got mostly level threes or how level explanations, then you would be at a three for that particular category in class. For standards and skills for a level two, most of your explanations were what level explanations. And for a level one, most of them were observations or there were several standards that had no evidence. The next thing you're going to do is think about your role in the community. You can read through each of the levels, but for example, you'll notice that with community, there are slight differences for each level. For example, this says community contributes to classroom discussion and group collaboration that supports the learning of both self and others. For a level three, Contributions to classroom discussion and group collaboration supports the learning of self. Level two, contributions to classroom discussion and group collaboration are as a giver of knowledge with a fixed mindset. In other words, I already know this. Here's what the answer are. Uh, answers are, here's what I know. And a level one does not yet contribute to classroom discussion and group collaboration consistently. So again, for a four, you're thinking about not only your own learning, but you're also thinking about the learning of others. For a level three, you're focused primarily on your own learning. For level two, you're not open as much to learning. There's less question acting, asking, and it's more about just giving ideas or giving information. And at level one, there's not a lot of contribution yet. We also have our thinking as a scientist. Notice for level four, asking questions to make sense of big ideas and ongoing curiosity. So this is where you ask questions, which makes you think of more questions, which makes you want to answer that and then ask more. And it just loops and loops and loops and loops. And you're asking these questions because you have a deep desire to understand more. You're also making connections between what we learn in class, past and present, and related phenomena outside of the classroom. So for example, you might be noticing collisions that are happening outside in the real world and thinking about how what we've learned in class can help you explain that. For a level three, you're asking questions to understand the topics. So in other words, you ask questions so that you can answer the unit question or answer individual questions within our unit. And you are also making connections between ideas in our current unit and past unit. So for example, if there are forces at a distance with our magnetism, you were thinking about not only forces related to magnetism, but also how that compares to non-contact forces, or rather how that compares to contact forces. For a level two, your question asking is mostly about getting the right answer um, and you're making connections between ideas within the current unit. For level one, you are asking questions about tasks and procedures, 
For example, how do I do this? I don't understand what you want me to, you know, put here, that sort of thing. Um, and you're not yet asking questions about big ideas in science. For example, you're not yet asking questions like, why would the distance between the magnets make such a big difference? Something like that. And then finally with reflection, for a level four, you're reflecting honestly and deeply of areas of strength and growth in all four categories of science. And you're taking ownership for the learning of yourself and others. Level three is very similar. Uh, the difference would be that you are taking ownership for yourself, the learning of yourself. Level two, uh, you might be responding superficially to some of the reflection questions um, in some of the four categories. And you may only be reflecting on your strengths and the things that you bring to class and the things you're doing well. And finally, a level one, you respond to the reflection questions just for the purpose of getting it done. These are just really short, brief responses just because you want to check it off or get a good grade. Hopefully this makes um, more sense how you will be receiving your grade in science and how you can be thinking about the kinds of behaviors that you want to be demonstrating in science to ultimately be the most successful student you can be.